And you can see the problem uh, behind me here. This tree's been down on the ground here, blocking part of the alley behind me for about a month after it split in half during a storm. Now, the homeowner here says that We Energies had cut some branches around power lines. It made the tree unstable. That's what caused it. And now he worries about the remaining portion that's leaning over his home. But the utility says there's more to the story. I said, you can't just cut all the weight off one side and expect, you know, that, you know, it's going to not fall. Mark Vallad says he saw it coming and now can't afford to clear away the tree that fell across his fence and into his yard or to take down the rest of it still hanging over his home. And he thinks it should be someone else's responsibility. We energies for the way they cut the tree and left it in a position of danger, really. He says the tree split after utility crews cut branches that had fallen onto power lines on one side, leaving the tree unstable. Tenant Terrence Johnson worries that the remaining portion puts his home in danger. Yeah, that's the main thing we got to worry about now. I mean, it's half of the tree gone and half of it still hanging up. So. We contacted We Energies, who immediately had their forestry contractor come out and take a look at what's left of the tree, the part that's hanging over the house. The experts say the tree isn't leaning any more than it ever did. It just looks that way because half of it's gone. We Energies tells WISN 12 News that their crews made the area safe by removing the portion of the tree that had fallen into power lines, and the tree does not pose a safety hazard or interfere with equipment. Vlad says he's not buying that explanation. They can't tell me that after a winter or two and this gets full of ice that it's not, it's already on my house. And moving forward, the concern for folks who live around here is who's going to be responsible for the cleanup? How are they going to get rid of this? The tree may be across the property line. So the city code enforcement folks here in Racine are looking into whether maybe another neighbor may be responsible for the cleanup. We Energy says not their responsibility. In any case, for folks who live all around this area, they just want this tree gone and they want to ensure that what's left of it doesn't come crashing down. In Racine, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.